Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate new exciting features which are coming to Cut Plus toolset in the next release. I will show how to print and export all of the drawings associated with the components of an active assembly. Some components of this assembly have drawings associated with them. Those drawings are saved in the same folder as the main assembly file. So what I want to do in this demo is to print all of those drawings. At first I will navigate to codestack.net and download the macro to print active drawing file. I need to navigate into the goodies section on codestack.net, model category, scroll down, open print macro and just copy the code. Now I can come back to SOLIDWORKS, create new macro, save it to the folder, specify a name and paste the code into the newly generated macro. There are several options you can configure, such as printer name, size, scale, etc. So let me first specify the printer name. I'm actually going to specify the range to print all of the drawing sheets. I just need to put asterisk in here. I'm just going to print to A4 paper size and I can save this macro. You can read about this macro on the codestack.net to find out more about the configuration options. Now we can run this macro for all the drawings in this assembly. Let's go to cut plus menu command, run, and here I can specify what components I want to use. I can simply select components from the graphics view, or I can select all reference documents. So all the documents currently referred by this assembly are going to participate in the batch process. Now I need to add macros which are going to be run on all of those components. I can use add macros button or simply drag and drop a macro file. I can specify several additional options and in particular I'm just going to check find drawings options so I can extract all drawings from those components. And as you can see in the interface now we have all of the drawings associated with those components displayed in the grid. I can select only the files I want to process, so I'm just going to untick all documents and keep drawings only. When I click OK, all of the drawing files are going to be opened and that macro is going to run for each of them. So in total I have 5 files and all of them were processed successfully. As a result, all of those drawings have been printed. In the next demo I'm going to export all of the drawings of an assembly into the PDF and DWG formats. As this is a large assembly, I'm going to leverage large design review mode to improve my performance. So my assembly will be opened in seconds rather than minutes. Similarly to previous step, I can download the macro to export to foreign formats from Codestack website. Let's navigate to import export category and find export to multiple formats macro. This macro has quite a flexible configuration you can read this article to understand how to configure that macro to suit your needs. So let me just copy the code, create new macro, call it export, and paste the code here. I will quickly configure my macro and I'm going to create two files from each drawing. One is PDFs and I'm just going to save it into the subfolder called PDFs with the file name of my original drawing. I'm just going to create another one for DWG. It's going to be named exactly as my original file with an extension of DWG. So as a result of running this macro for each drawing, I'm going to have two outputs. Unlike previous case, the drawings for this assembly are saved in the external folder to the assembly itself. So if you go one level up in that folder, we'll find the drawings folder with all the drawings of the components from this assembly. Let's now start batch plus. You can see that all of the references have been loaded into the input group and I want to point your attention that most of those references are suppressed, which means that files are not yet loaded into the SOLIDWORKS and this is because your assembly is opened in large design review mode. But this scenario is supported by Batch Plus and tool will open those files automatically to run the macro. Let's now remove print macro and add export macro into the scope. One of the features of Batch Plus is an ability to pass arguments to your macro. In this case, you can specify the pass to the output folder as a parameter of the macro. This will make the process of exporting simpler as you do not need to modify your macro every time you want to change the output folder. 
For this demo, I will export my files into the output files folder. So let me copy the path and add it into the arguments. Macro can accept several arguments separated by space. This is similar to command line arguments in Windows command prompt. If your value contains spaces, you need to put this value into the quotes. So like in this case, my folder name contains a space. In order to validate arguments, you can hover the mouse over the arguments box and you will see the result in the tooltip. In this case, our arguments are split by two. This is because there is a space in the folder name. To fix it, I just need to make sure that I add a quote at the start and at the end of my value. And now, as you can see, there is one argument with the full path to my folder. Enabling the rapid mode would allow to open those drawings in the detailing mode, which will significantly improve my performance. So let's click green tick and we see the same dialog to select references. But you can see no drawings have been found. This is because by default drawings are stored in the folders and subfolders relative to the input files. But we can specify additional search folders. So now you can see those drawings are found. Now I can modify the input scope and only process drawings. So when I click OK, all of those drawings are going to be opened in their own windows in the detailing mode. And this macro is going to export PDF and DWG from all of those drawings one by one. Opening the drawings in the detailing mode will significantly improve the performance. However, some of the APIs will not be available in this mode. So we can see the status. All of our files have been successfully exported. Now let's validate the result. So you can see there is a subfolder PDFs with all of the files here. So let's open one of those files and you can see it is correctly exported. Let's also navigate to DWG's folder and there are some files as an output generated by the macro. Thank you for watching this video.